Hi guys, in this simulation we are talking about a 3D power transformer for distribution line. The primary and secondary voltage is 20 kilovolts to 380 volts. So let's have a look on external circuit of the transformer. The transformer connection is Y Z so we have a winding for each HV line and two windings for LV line to connect it to each other by zigzag connect all the excitations are external and in external circuit here we have Y connected high voltage part and zigzag connection for low voltage in this simulation we used a switch to short the secondary part of the transformer so we can see the current of short circuit the short circuit will happen after 44 milliseconds now we want to add some DC voltage here in the excitation circuit and see what happens if uh, we increase the DC voltage, direct voltage and saturate the iron core. To simplify the circuit we want to delete the parts for short circuit test. For short circuit test we had a power source and a switch for each winding. So now we want to add some DC voltage source to the primary winding. Here it is secondary winding. It's the primary winding that we want to change. So let's have a look closer to the windings. They are connected by Y connection. I will delete the connections. I have to choose a voltage source here. We come to the sources and VDC direct voltage source I will press R to rotate the source 1, 2, 3 DC sources here I will connect them to each other by Y connection and as you see the phase voltage of each high voltage winding is 16,3300 volt. So we want to add some DC voltage to analyze the saturation by the DC voltage. The voltage is about 15,000 volts. So let's add a, for example, 300 DC volts here 300 for second and 300 for third phase so we can see the voltage of the winding will change here and also the current of the wind when you change anything in the external circuit you have to save the file and go to the Maxwell design, right click on the free part of the simulation, go to external circuit, edit external circuit, and you can just click on update netlist. The netlist will be updated. The import was successfully and all the circuit has changed. If you didn't have 
update circuit here you have to save export the file here and then use this sph file to import to the software so uh, just i have to mention that when you have two parts circuit you have to use gnd or ground in each part to have a unite circuit now we want to see the saturation of the iron core to calculate the saturation of the core first we have to plot the saturation to see the amplitude of bh or amplitude the flux density so i have drawn a rectangle just inside of the iron core and i can plot the b here by clicking on fields b magnitude of the b and click on the dot so i can see the magnetic flux density in this rectangle but i have to collect the data of the magnetic flux by numbers so i draw a line here just between the the iron core i use zero 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 two zero zero for example 60 centimeter and then click on that so we have a line here that we can plot the b or flux density on this line as i changed the excitation i have to run the simulation again and see the results and save fields you have to save fields to be able to see the simulation results so i will say i need these customs for example save the data on 50 i need to save the data on 50 millisecond to 100 millisecond each to 60 milliseconds each one millisecond and i have to run the simulation again to be able to see the results and when i want to change the numbers i have to get the results for this excitation i changed the so the voltage source of the high voltage primary sign so i have to change this voltage for example change it to 500 volts and run again and see the results for 500 volts and then change this amount and change it and change it and say, see the maximum flux density of iron core of course when you have to increase the dc voltage you can see the saturation in iron core